<laughs> It's live. All right, welcome back, everyone. We are back from our dinner. <laughs> dinner that lasted like yeah. two hours. We are back for part two. Um, Let's just make it what thirty minutes. And we're here with a special, with a special <laughs> guest. Maybe you've seen him in a couple of our vlogs. <laughs> What happened? It's Carlo Mondegil. Carlos Mondegil. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Talk it. Do we drop context on that? Talk into the mic. Put it near. Yeah. Do we drop context on that? Like why? I'm I mean, sure. <laughs> how did you get your your real name's yeah. Carlos Mondegil? Carlos Mondegil. So okay. like, what? How did how did Mondegil come about? Okay, so basically, back in high school, uh, whenever I'd get paged by the the guards, they'd somehow misspell and mispronounce my name. And oh no, say Carlos Mondegil instead of <laughs> Mondeging. When, where the fuck, where the bloody fuck did you get the L? <laughs> the only L in my name is, is it in Carlo? Carlo and Andrew, <laughs> but not my last name, dude. <laughs> so what the fuck? Yeah, and anyway, that's how it goes. And since that's then, how it went. since I'd then we haven't been. We've been. Since then, we've been continuously then. like shitting on him and like <laughs> <laughs> using it. Where, where'd you get Carlos and third? Okay, that I'm. I'm not even sure, but probably from Jake. Oh, yeah. I know. All of a sudden, he just called me Montegil the Third because it sounded cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gotta roast you some more, buddy. You know. You know. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, what the what do you do, good sir? What do you do? Oh for yeah, it? since this is Carlos' yeah. first time on <laughs> the hubs, the hubcast. Um, maybe we should take a little time to allow the listeners to. Uh, get to know a little bit more about Carlo. So uh, why don't Carlos <laughs> Montague <laughs> the third? <laughs> so why don't you tell the viewers a little bit about yourself? Uh, okay, the main thing I've been doing, or like what I hope to do, is compose music. All right, and tight. It's something I've been working on for the past four years now. And uh, what else do I talk about myself? Uh, you like to play Smash Bros. Oh uh, hell yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a full Luigi main and Cena <laughs> main too. Did, did you used to play Team Fortress too? Oh right, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I was a sniper, one professional trick. sniper, sniper, I was a sniper one, of best, one trick for a European. One of the best snipers in the world. Time, but that didn't really fly because I was too laggy and the time zones were a thing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what what made you wanna uh, do music? Uh. Hmm. Also, this guy goes by the name of Waffles. Waffles. Okay. Yeah. Do we need to drop context on that name too? Uh, sure. Sure. We want to drop the context okay, on Waffles. Okay, so first it started with Borderlands. So in Borderlands 2, there's a character named Johnny Waffles. And I thought that was kind of <laughs> cool. So I Johnny that was my Waffles. name on Steam for a while. And then people just started calling me Waffles because Johnny Waffles was too long. So there, Waffles. And then I got this Filipino friend who called me Waffles. So <laughs> I, started, I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. He also typed it that way. So it was W-A-F-E-L-S. Yeah. I totally forgot so what stopped. your name was before Waffles. Oh, was it the, the, the Behemoth? Behemoth. Oh, oh no. no. It wasn't the, that was a picture. Dude. Oh, okay. Uh, what is my name? Wasn't that Skittles Johnson or is it Hellgast? Oh, Hellgast. Oh, Hellgast FTW. Yeah, FTW. it was Hellgast FTW. Fam. Hellgast for the win. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> what we were talking about? Oh, right, the music. Uh, yeah, yeah how'd you get to music? So I wanted to get into music mainly because... Even th- because I actually don't remember how the fuck I got into it. <laughs> You've been doing uh, a lot of online sequencer. Okay, yeah. the reason why I wanted to make music was... Because I wanted to do something with my life, and I and I thought that hey, since I really like listening to music, and what I like listening to is very specific and hard to come by, I was like, you know what? What if I make my own? And then I started from there. Yeah. And then one of my Steam friends named Forsyth. I'm sure some of you know him. Yes. Yeah. He, shout out to Forsyth. Forsyth. <laughs> he linked. He linked online sequencer. Shout out to Forsyth. And he said, like, why don't you? Why don't you make songs there? I'm like, oh, hell yeah, all right. And then that's where I started. So that was back in 2014. So now I've... Hmm. It's been going strong it's ever been since. continuing the legacy, actually. And he's actually, like, kind of conquered the whole <laughs> online sequencer thing. 
Yeah, he's pretty. He actually controls a lot of what's going on in onlinesequencer.com. Dot net? What is it? Dot net. Dot net, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's that. So, what's made you become one of the most influential people <laughs> in online sequencer? Right? Not like it's fact. Facts. Uh, okay, like not not to sound like a dipshit, but someone. It all started with uh, one of the more popular people noticing my songs and saying that it was their inspiration for their other song, and then that's when my popularity popularity started building up. And then maybe like a year later, some guy, some other influential guy, rated his top ten uh, composers on the site. Ooh, Ooh. And, and you were on that list. And Damn. Somehow I, I was able to make it. I got. That's crazy. I, I was the first one. Woo! Damn. Damn. Like, Number one. Like, like no one, one was on the list. You until like, that list. Yeah, no one was like, name dropping me, but then I guess it was somewhat established because. Damn. I guess like what I do is very unique to me. Yeah. And how did you find out that you were like, uh, like getting name dropped already? Like name dropped. Uh, like, when I when I drop a song, and then people be people like. People like. Can people like comment on the song? Or uh, now they can, but oh, then can. it's not a it's not a popular system yet because it mm. just came around recently. Mm. But yeah, the the popularity started coming around when I started like sharing my songs like regularly on the yeah. on the chat, and then oh, okay. a lot of people would be like, "Oh yeah, of course it's a waffle song. It'd be good." Oh, and nice. that's what they would say. <laughs> and then waffle song. That's and then they and then they'd also say like. They they wouldn't be surprised if whatever I drop is gonna be good. So I'm like, oh damn, okay, that's, that's quite the expectation. You have quite the reputation builder. Yeah, and then uh, it, it also it all like came together on this contest called the World Contest. So basically, the World Contest is uh, it was a really big update on Online Sequencer where 16 instruments were were implemented all at once. So so the admin decided to host a contest on who can utilize these new in- instruments the yeah. best. And since there were so many participants, probably like around 50 plus, yeah, he had to split it into tiers because it would be unfair for all the newcomers to just lose out to the veterans who were participating. Oh, yeah. That's true. Pretty much all of them were. It was a contest. Yeah, so songs were divided into four tiers. So this was like C tier, B tier, A tier, and S tier. Yeah. And your song would be graded based on like the amount of instruments, the new the amount of new instruments you used, and then the creativity, the catchiness, and then some other some other shit. I didn't I didn't really know <laughs> because I'm not supposed to know this. Oh. But like oh, really? based on what the the admin. T- told me and what some of the other admins shared they just, that was the they just told you like yeah. just to you like that he's like hey I'm, make I'm a song with, I'm close with one of the admins so. oh that's cool yeah so yeah and then when the when the tier the tier list came out and I was and then oh wait I forgot to mention that everyone can everyone can drop three song entries yeah a maximum of three song entries so when I found out the two of my songs hit S and then mm-hmm. one of them hit A. I was like, yo. And S is like the, the biggest, like the, the yeah, top. Yeah, that's like the, yeah. the top of the game. Along with A, because a lot of veterans were basically in A and S tier. But yeah, when the results came out, I was like, what the hell? It's like you're calling. Because, like, I don't, I don't know if I'll sound like an asshole, but. <laughs> but somehow, don't be so modest. My, my two S tier songs tied for first place, and I'm like, Damn. So they, Damn they tied for first place and then that's how my, my reputation just went off. Just skyrocketed. And again. then I even like started getting like haters and people being like, oh, just because he's popular and shit. And I'm yeah. like, oh shit, okay, that's that's a start. The moment I start getting haters, it's a good yeah. thing. And yeah. Then, yeah. That's how you know like your popularity is growing yeah. when you start to get the haters. Yeah, and it's not just like a small community. It's actually like a, yeah. a thing where like a lot of people are involved, like yeah, thousands. It's, it's quite big. Like there are probably about a hundred or more yeah. active users. Exactly. But then there are like ten thousand accounts. Ten thousand. So like a lot of those are inactive, but yeah. the ones that are active, there are still a lot. And yeah. they're always in the forums. Mostly the chat. But yeah. yeah. So what what came to be of that contest? Like, did you actually get to implement stuff? Oh, the thing is, okay, 
So there was some some bullshit going on where this admin is not the main developer. So he basically made a contest yeah. where he made the the prizes, but then it would end up having him needing to ask the developer the develop- to implement the changes. Oh. So it's okay. not he it's not this guy actually putting those in like yeah. the instruments I wanted. So he what has I to want like get what, the developer. Yeah. And then the dev was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, why'd you set up this contest and oh, expect cool. me to just put in whatever, whoever wins, whatever they want, whatever the winner wants. Yeah. And so in the end, I never got my prize, but then... You still I got, got the clout, I, boy. I got the rep. <laughs> <laughs> got the rep you still so, got the clout. Yeah. So hopefully, like, like, within this podcast, we can, like, play it. Or yeah, I'll, we'll probably... I'll, I'll, if yeah, we we'll have a time for it, we'll probably leave a link or yeah, uh, or something or a drop his cloud or like an audio file of one of Carlos's yeah, so songs. The people, the the forty okay. people who <laughs> less than this. that. Okay, just a disclaimer. So the thing with online sequencer, like, I feel like if say you would compare Photoshop to Paint, where Paint is like the significantly more simple program. And it's like it's basically more primitive than than Photoshop, which is like more professional. Yeah. Online sequencer is like that. It, it's like how do I explain it? It's like compare using uh, a, a regular DAW or a digital audio work workstation workstation like FL Studio or Ableton to using online sequencer. It's like the paint. Of, of the music the DAWs of the I music see. DAWs yeah big DAWs so in other words it's it's basic as hell it's super easy to get into but it's also super limited yeah so the songs I'd send or like the ones that are gonna get sampled are basically what I would consider or like what I'd like to think are the, the most I can b- possibly bring out in an MS Paint just based on sound mm-hmm. if that makes mm-hmm. sense so it's 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 kind of like I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly say beginner. I mean it seems very far from a, yeah. from like what from like a beginner's like but I, I get what you mean. It's kind of like the level 1 or so yeah. of a of a of an online music uh thing. Yeah, but program. It takes like a good like a skilled person to make something more complicated out of it. Yeah. Like you could still make some professional stuff with paint, like legit. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. that's kind of yeah, true. It take more effort. Yeah, it takes more effort. So it, I guess it's the same way with online sequencing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. As an as an as an artist, because you're pretty much an established artist at this point. Like, okay. how, what were your inspirations for creating music? Like, how are you able to develop your own my style? Style, because I know like it's very hard to do that, just okay. for like any art in general. Okay, the thing is, like, my inspirations for music are kind of, like, unpopular. Like, unpopular artists. Mm-hmm. But but Jed over here, I'm pretty sure he knows who they are. So, yeah. one of them is a band called Millie. Yeah. And, yeah. holy shit, they're, they're instrumentals. They're, like, I don't know, their composition style in general is so fucking lit. So, I was like, yo, I should try making stuff like that. And then, so, I, I tried practicing it, but then... At first, of course, like I was failing because, of course, they're they, they know what they're doing, they know what they're doing. But at the time, I didn't, and to an extent, I still don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, one of my main inspirations is Millie, and then my second one, I would say Porter Robinson because. Oh, I've heard of Porter Robinson. Like the way Porter his Robinson. the way he does his his EDM, it's like he tells a story with it. Yeah. And it's like it sounds powerful as fuck, and I love that. Oh, so, definitely. So I was like, "Yo, I should try that." Like, so when I when I work on EDM music, since I kind of do a mix of like like rock and EDM, and probably like what is it, neo classical? Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know if you'd call it neo classical, mm-hmm. but but yeah, when it comes to EDM, like a lot of my my style is based off of how Porter Robinson would probably do it, like strong. Uh, somewhat Asian influenced chord progressions, melodies, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. 
Yeah, yeah the stuff I make are generally like very Asian inspired. Yeah, I remember listening to a, a song by Porter Robinson because I recognize that name, but I just don't remember what the the song title was. But yeah, I guess he's just known. Shelter. Oh yeah, was it Shelter? Oh yeah. Um, you remember the? Sorry, context. Uh, LFC, LFC intro video for this year. Have you seen that? The, the parang highlights. Yeah, the highlights for like. The trailer video that Ariel made. I saw the. I, I did see that video. Yeah, that was a. Uh, that was Porter. Yeah, that was Porter. Oh, Robinson. no wonder why it sounded so good. He's I just known to make EDM that really isn't veering into mainstream. Yeah, I think it. I think it was Shelter. I'll probably double check it. Yeah, yeah. Shelter's a really nice track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So what else? What else we got? Jake, you've been quiet. Yeah. Did you, did we have like a lot of topics to talk about though? We did. Yeah. You what guys were we talking? What were we cover a couple more topics? What were we talking uh, about? Previous. Uh, we talked about Apu. We talked about uh, K-pop a bit. I don't know. Hmm. What else we? What 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 else has gone on with we our should, lives? We should we should ask Johnson to make our bed. Oh yeah, oh yeah about that. Um, we were, we. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was your idea, I think. But like, we were wondering if you, if you would ever be down to compose a bed for us. For our podcast. <laughs> what term was that? Bed. Um, bed. Like, you know how when you it's when you like, listen to the radio and while the DJs are talking, there's always music like playing in the background. Song. Yeah, background yeah. music. Yeah, it's actually like making something that's like fit for conversation. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. I was like trying to make a song that's fit for conversations. And, and I was... Like the genre I'm trying to test that I think works with it is Bossa Nova jazz. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> like, while I, I don't fucking understand it right now, because really? I'm, like, I forgot to mention that I am a self-taught composer slash musician. Yeah. And a lot of the times I make something, it's always accidental. This time, this time I'm trying to actually plan it out and probably try to figure out how to get Bossa Nova to work because yeah. I feel like that would sound really nice. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Right. Have you heard of Bossa I've Nova? Haven't, I haven't heard of Bossa Nova. You haven't heard. Okay, basically, have you heard lounge music? Yeah. Like if you go to a hotel. Yeah, coffee shop music. That's Bossa Nova. Uh, yeah. Typically, ooh. it's Bossa Nova. Oh, yeah. Th- those those, those, those types of music are like very calm. Yeah. And yeah. Really like, relaxing. I guess, not exactly... E- or like easy kind of to fall it asleep kind of, to, yeah, but like yeah. super like it's, chill. Yeah, to relax. Like too. it's not powerful, so you could it's like not. always like oh, 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 layer it with It's, it's an easy listen. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's, that'll be dope. Yeah. It'll feel like I we're in a legit yeah, coffee I'd shop. Love, It'll I'd be like when that. people are listening to this audio, they're, they'll sit down and like picture us like all in a table, like yes, drinking please. coffee. <laughs> or maybe not, I don't know. It's up to you guys. <laughs> like, Yeah. If you're interested in learning more about uh, Carlos' music, uh, where uh, can where can they yeah. f- where can they find your your stuff? Okay, basically it's on online sequencer. We'll probably drop the link. Yeah, we'll drop the <laughs> link. description. Yep, because I don't remember my URL. So yeah, he's pretty much in the front page anyway. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not the only one in the front page, but I guess I'm somewhere in there. Yeah, because like ironically. Like, the people who are considered popular, I guess myself included, don't actually have as many views yeah. as some people might have that are not in the list. So, Ooh. I Let's guess, see. like, while I have a reputation among the, the users who are active, it's like, I don't have the views to somewhat match that. Well, oddly enough, so. I see. Whatever. Right. I'll, I'll drop the... Yeah. Wait, these guys will drop the... Yeah, the, the link. The, the link in the description. Yeah. And do you have, like, any stuff? Oh, and also, a disclaimer. Uh, the way Online Sequencer works, it takes a heavy toll on your browzer. Hey, that's pretty good. Especially my music. Freak circuit. Because my songs are laggy as fuck. Circuit, circuit. Uh, oh, yeah. Shout, shout out to the Circuit Breakers. Oh, yeah. We, we did this the, guy and Kyle breakers, Fronda. Kyle. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll drop context on that. So <laughs> circuit breaker. So circuit I was sharing circuit. sharing my music with this guy that I haven't seen in about three years, and his laptop generally can't run my songs. So we were, so I told him, I can't run my own songs too if my laptop isn't plugged in. So you should go plug in your laptop 
So he plugs his laptop in, right? And so in the middle of the song that I was trying to show him, something blows up. <laughs> <laughs> it's his music. <laughs> something blows up. Fire. And then drops him. Fire. We found out that it was the, the electrical system within his house. Watch out, sound. So oh, no. <laughs> the, like more than half the house lost power in their sockets. So for probably like two hours, the guy didn't have internet. The guy didn't have any electricity in his area. So like Literally. shit. Well, did it did it like spread through the rest of the house or anything? Yeah, yeah. While the, like the whole house the was. The house. Yeah, it because it all that actually Jake told us this story like a while ago. <laughs> it's like he's um it was during uh, an Ali's our friend Ali's party. I think we talked about it earlier in the in the first part. Did we? Shout out to Ali forever. Yeah, I think we did talk about it. So it was during a Halloween party, and we did. We were wondering if, like, oh no, did did something happen with the party, or like, did the all the lights go off, or what, or like, what the hell happened? <laughs> but yeah, that's. But yeah, they had to call the electrician to like fix some stuff. <laughs> if I recall, that's I actually, what you told me. Oh, I was actually surprised that that the electrician showed up like really quickly. Because it's it's so normal, at least in this country, to have such shitty service. No oh yeah, that's true. Live. I mean, it is like the newest building in Eastwood, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah. So they gotta they gotta stay classy. They gotta stay classy. Yeah, for for like the first year or two, and then oh, and then the, <laughs> the service down. goes down. Yeah. Yeah. Once Holy it devalues. Is that, a, is that a legit thing? Yeah, it is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> three mics so uh, <laughs> Jet and I are like very close <laughs> uh, yeah we're very close hell yeah <laughs> uh, the electrician, electrician and shitty service the, yeah oh yeah because like in, in my condo holy shit it'd take them like maybe a week at most a week to show up oh and no I'm like wow what the fuck all they have to do is just I don't know like show up at the door something. Like they just like at that time they just have to fix my fucking bidet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <gosh. laughs> for, for a week, I'm like, what the fuck? My mom was going in on the the admin, dude, and then that's that's the only time they showed up when she when she got so fucking mad at them. They so. had to get to that point, though. Yeah, they had to get to that point. Yeah. But then at Ali's place, holy shit! The yeah. service came within. That was like okay, it was two a.m. or something, right? It was two a.m. And then they just called the admin, and then within ten minutes he showed up, and I'm like, "Whoa!" Fuck. But yeah, it's kind. It, yeah, it's kind of funny because I don't remember ever seeing like that new condo being built up. It's very funny. It just came out of nowhere. It's like, oh, a new place. I don't know if you like. If you maybe, maybe it's because I haven't been to Eastwood in a that while. Area. I don't know if you guys gone to Eastwood like when we were younger, but that area used to be like a big ass parking lot and a big ass Italianis in the middle. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I think I remember the parking lot, but I don't remember the Italian. Yeah, there's like a big ass Italian. He's like there, a couple, and there's a cockroach like right behind you, dude. <laughs> like dead ass. The fuck? Oh, <laughs> there's a there's a cockroach in a Jethro's place, and he's hella scared. So he's just gonna oh, go and kill it first. Right behind the TV. Oh no, it's behind the TV. Okay, you gotta go get it. Oh, son. Wait, what what are, what, are, what are you gonna do? We're just gonna leave it there. What's that, man? What's that? What's that? Oh. <laughs> oh, speaking of Eastwood, were you ever at Eastwood in the early 2000s? Like early, like, like super early 2000s, like probably 2005 or earlier. Yeah, I was already living in Eastwood like 2004, oh, shit. five. Yeah. So were you there when like the only the only stuff there were it was like mainly grass? Yeah. The the what the IBM tower? Yeah, dude, I'm like one of the early residences there. Oh, shit. And then like there was like a Rustan supermarket. Or was it? I don't think it was Rustan. No, but it was not Rustan. Yeah, but there was a supermarket. There's like a, just a supermarket, just like in the middle of nowhere in that area. Yeah, I'm like an OG. Damn. Guy. Yeah, shit. Sure. And then I know because like I know some of the restaurants that have come and gone there. Like we had Data Blitz, dude. Yeah, that we, I remember. We, we had Data Blitz. I, I, I was there when it was there, but then I wasn't really a gamer, so. Yeah, it does, we had time. Data Blitz. Then it we had, we had Data Blitz. We had Jollibee. Yeah, all of that stuff. And then. Got, like uh, yeah, Eastwood. I don't think yeah. 2007. I don't remember seeing yeah, any of that. 2005. 2005. You're already in Eastwood. You're already in Eastwood. I mean, like, I I was still in Manila, living in Manila. Like Tondo? Like no. 
I feel like the first time I've been to Eastwood was like, uh, I think I was grade five. I remember going there at one point in grade five you to the bowling went alley. To Eastwood in, in grade four when you were. I don't remember. I don't remember, but yeah. I do remember going there in grade five yeah. to the bowling alley for a friend's birthday party, and that's about as all I all I remember. Wow, was Obvious? this already Eastwood turning into the big ass city that it is now? Uh, it was I don't remember. Probably still in the. The yeah, only developing pa. yeah, the only f- oh. the only thing familiar at the time to me was the city walk. Yeah, I remember city walk was really prevalent, and that was the only uh. thing there. Yeah, city yeah, walk that used to be the only thing there. City walk was already big at the time, and now it's like oh shit, I turned off the mic. Yeah. Now there's like a new mall on the other side. Yeah, and like what else is there? Is there gonna be a new mall? No, 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 no. the new mall, the new mall we know now. Yeah. But is there some stuff developing still? Or condos, 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 condos. I think it's mainly residential. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Because Eastwood is actually really small. It's just that they're like putting so much shit in it yeah. that it starts to concern me. Yeah, it's getting crowded. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, fun, fu- fun fact like, my block, my, two of my blockmates yesterday, because I had a hangout, uh, this is their first time at Eastwood. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. How did they find it? Yeah, they're, they, they, lo- they, they found it pretty. Oh. Uh-huh. Like, that's a first, because like, Eastwood is so. Urbanized and stuff. I mean, yeah, Eastwood is very is very pretty, especially to people who haven't seen it before. It's like it's kind of like a tourist attraction. It is, way. it is. I mean, yeah, it's different if you've lived there for several years. Yeah. Like it starts to look fucking bland. Yeah, it, is, it does. It does like you realize that there's not much to yeah, do. There's no, <laughs> yeah, after, nothing to do. I'm not. There, yeah. After you've done like everything. We've pretty much done everything there except play basketball because it's so hard to find a court. They have basketball courts. Exactly in, right. In Eastwood. Yeah, they do. They do. Oh, that's that's is crazy. The, is it like that big white dome yeah, near? Yeah, that's one. And then there's City another Walk? one above, like Palazzo. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. So we need to play basketball. Yes. I think we need to just play sports in general, I'll man. Take your like, ass to school, Gaston. Like, no, no, like, no. like we, how long has it been since we last played sports? Uh, <laughs> shout out to Fit Sports. Last time I played basketball, I don't know. Last time I played Ultimate. It was during PE class and I got double cramps because <laughs> I didn't stretch nor drink water before because I just got so excited just play again. Were you there when like uh, I had cramps like it wasn't even 10 minutes in PE and I already had cramps? <laughs> like, I, I don't think I was there but I remember you telling that story. Yeah, I got I cramped up already. Yeah. Like first 10 minutes. I don't even know why. I think you were tiptoeing or something. I was. I think I was. And then you I remember for... like, we were trying to mock Leon because like, he was tiptoeing so funny. <laughs> Shout out, shout out to Leon. I got crap. I, I, I got, got crap. <laughs> I got crap. Oh, the, the last time we played Ultimate was was with Sid Lucero. Sid Lucero. Yeah. In in oh, Subic. Yeah, yeah the, the trip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh, I wonder when that vlog's coming. <laughs> oh, that that vlog is coming soon. soon I promise. He says. Like several months ago. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of our vlogs are several several months ago, and it, we're gonna do a throwback series. I think I mentioned that uh, very early early in this podcast, but like yeah. Stay tuned right. for those. <laughs> You'll take a trip down our past with us. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of funny because some of the vlogs that, that haven't been made yet are actually like from several months ago. So that's technically like a throwback. Yeah, it yeah. is a throwback. It, they're it's throwback. A vlog throwback. Vlog throwback. Vlog throwber. Throwback. What are you saying? <laughs> vlog tober. Vlog tober throwback. Throw to- vlog throw tober. Throwber. Vlog throwback. Throw 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 <laughs> God damn it! Wow, what 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 what, what, what what's happening sorry. to us? I'm sorry about that. We're a little sub out today. Anyway, um, there is a ongoing petition right now, uh, from Sangu. From Sangu? Yeah, in they're, like, they're trying to they're petitioning to suspend class tomorrow. What? Yeah. So, petition to suspend classes what? on Wednesday, October 31, 2018. Do you guys have class tomorrow? Yeah. Apparently we, because like I thought, I, I, I thought at first we didn't have class. I thought that was the official announcement, but then they re- they retracted that and they said we li- we do have Cla- classes. Classes still stand, but it doesn't really affect us. That yeah, it doesn't affect me because I don't have. It doesn't affect me because all my classes are free cut. Why, why doesn't it affect Lasalle? Is it because free cut as well or like? Because we're our, like the, the school announced that we'd have no class from from today. With, no, actually, from tomorrow. From. 31 to November 3 
Oh yeah. So starting tomorrow, supposedly we'd have no class, and with the way LaSalle works, we have no Monday class, and since classes were suspended today, we basically don't have class for the entire week. So, yeah. mm, that's fun. We only had one day, right, for this week. Yeah. We were supposed to have one day. Literally one suspended. day, and. It Actually, was, yeah. for me, it was all free cut. <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, but apparently, there's still some people who do have class tomorrow. So, yeah. so that's October. 31st oh yeah, I I, I get the case. Actually, there are a lot of profs who are giving free cuts. So like, yeah, might as well. Yeah, right? you might as well give like no class to everyone. But like, it depends on the prof and all. Yeah, but it doesn't really affect me. So yeah, whatever. Doesn't affect me either. So who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. We, we oh. hope we hope justice prevails. <laughs> what you hope justice prevails? Honestly, like. They yeah, they, they should like, the petition's yeah. useless. Yeah, it's it so like, just, so late already. Like, yeah, and it's late too. Yeah, good job, so, Sang. I mean, good is job, it for the people who have profs that did not suspend? that did not suspend. Yeah. I mean, uh, did you turn off your mic? Did I? I mean, no, no, no. Oh, shit. we can't change. Like we can't control profs. If they want to have class, then fine. But still, doesn't affect us anyway. So why are yeah. we talking about this? Okay. Does it not affect you because both of you guys have free cuts? Yeah, yeah free cut. Um, All my classes tomorrow supposed to be free cut. People are already yeah. exa- people are already like um, expecting that we're already going to provinces. Yeah. Already. Oh. That's why like give us one day off. <laughs> well, how are you guys <laughs> spending uh, the day? The long the weekend. Day. Yeah. Uh, wait, you wow, wanna- that's <laughs> telepathy. Point. You wanna you wanna go first? Um, I'm gonna hang out, I guess, and also study because I have to advance a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I th- okay. What about you, big man? Thing I'm, I'm gonna do since I rarely had time to even work on music, and I've been wanting to work on music for the longest time. I'm gonna fucking do that. This year. Yeah. Okay. Online sequencer slash waffles. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even. And then I'll probably learn a, uh, an actual da. Da. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I think for me, like, I'm not sure if I should start on my long exam, which is due on the 16th, because, like, that subject is, like, super, like, the heaviest one for me right now. But I think right now I'm going to focus on doing my shot list for a short film. The the short film that I mentioned earlier that I was directing. So, yeah. Godspeed. Yeah. Did you you guys already talk about this film a while ago? Yeah. Yeah, We started talking about this, like, what? Um, actually, a couple weeks ago or so, did we announce it in August? No, right? Uh, I don't think so. I think the the Isape announcement came around September. September. That was the GA, I think. And you didn't know yet that you're gonna be a director. No, the 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 how I became a director was I basically didn't have a team, like I didn't have people to work with because I wasn't really close to anyone. So I just talked to my course mate. Uh, shout out to Yana if you're listening, which Yana's you're not. Your, oh, course mate, not yeah, block mate. Course mate. I, Yana was in the seat in front of me, so I just tapped her. I was like, hey, Yana, do you have a group now? And then she was like, no, but I guess you sh- I guess you can join us. And then I was like, got him. Like, she already had people. Oh, like who? who she had Migs she already oh, okay. at the time. She had Sam. Oh, okay. So she kind of had her own little team, but she, she was just team. expanding members. Yeah. So, and then you apparently became the director. Of that. Yeah, I told them. I actually volunteered to be director. They didn't ask me to. So like, I just wanted a team. I just wanted a team, regardless of like what role I was gonna be. And I wonder who would have been director of that team yeah. had I not been in. I don't know. Right? I don't even know who else would have been yeah, in the you, team. You're the only one who could like. I feel you. You have it. You got this. Yeah, we got this. Oh yeah, Jethro's uh, in that team too. Asked oh, up. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, just, I'm literally just an assistant cinematographer. Yeah, like you know, you, you, I got you. <laughs> 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 you didn't know what I, what I, was I got say. you. <laughs> you got me. Okay, I, I got, got you, you too. Bro. We'll all help each other here. This is all a helping process. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I actually mentioned my thoughts earlier, so yeah. <laughs> Also, uh, since I didn't know about this, like, what kind of film were you making or directing? Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> no, you weren't. You weren't I, I haven't told you about this one. Yeah. yeah um, yeah. basically, I don't. I don't really want to give away the plot. Maybe Ooh. you can save that for later. No, the synopsis. 
Yeah, the synopsis. I'll give the uh, log line. Uh, the log line is um, three students um, suffer trauma from a prof and they're out to like um, get revenge. Not not exactly get revenge because we don't want we don't really want to do harm, but like yeah, I guess it's implied that they want to change the system because oh. we only we only have five to ten minutes for this one so they want to uh, change the system so it's not like it's not like they want to get closure out of what happened to them oh yeah the they, they do want to they do want to get closure like they want to get they want the prof to get what he deserves yeah that, something like that yeah so that's that's, really nice. that's the very light version of What's happening? Yeah, and I feel like by, by changing the system, like how exactly? Like if I'm because like there's a the... there's a part in the script where it's like they already filed the case, but oh. parang there's no pro- there's no progress. Like for some reason, the prof is under the school's protection or something, because it's 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 kind of set in a in a world where magic is kind of normalized. So in the in turn the system there is kind of weird because in the contest like we're supposed to set up on the like it's supposed to revolve around the theme of mundane okay. like it's supposed yeah. to be mundane and so mundane. we wanted to make like a wanted to make like a concept that's really relatable in like our society yeah. it's right very now. timely it's very timely and then make it like mundane <laughs> <laughs> honestly would, uh, would mundane mean like because it's in a school setting, that's what makes it mundane. No, what makes it mundane is that oh yeah, the mundane part is, mm. huh? It's set in a very like magical. I guess, uh huh. It veers onto the I supernatural. <laughs> it veers onto the supernatural. That's what yeah. makes it mundane. But isn't isn't that technically not mundane? Like assuming I'm not a fucking dumbass, and mundane means I forgot how Migs mun- interpreted it. Mundane means isn't mundane like like stale, boring? No, mundane means out of the ordinary. No, 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 right? no. Is no? It? no, 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 no. Mundane does mean like very ordinary and boring. But oh I, really? I forgot <laughs> how I forgot the way Migs in, Migs interpreted it. Oh, okay, but honestly, I don't think it matters because yeah, okay. regardless of what mundane means or how we follow it, I heard from. Um, some so far uh, some members of the org who like read the pitch. I heard they really liked it, okay. and I heard that it was yeah. it was unique and it was timely. So so far it's greenlit. S- yeah, greenlit. So far, yeah. Okay. So I think we're we're on a we're on a good track here. And like so far, like how the team like made our stuff so far, it's really nice. Yeah. I like, I wanna yeah. I wanna do it justice, man. What yeah. what what they created yeah. with the script, it's really nice. Yeah. As I mentioned in the earlier part of this podcast, we, um, we will, once the film is finalized, we will upload it to the channel. So hopefully, whoever's watching, none of no one's watching, whoever um, was interested in uh, checking it out, go knock yourselves out. Hey, it's weird that we say that no one's like watching, but there are like people like our podcasts actually get like what eighty plus, and it's not. Necessarily from the Philippines. Oh, really? Yeah, it's weird. Like, huh. Who the hell? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're global hell? now, fam. We're global now. We're global sensations. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're not even sensations in the slightest. But I do like this because, like, <laughs> it gives me like background stuff while I work. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I use the podcast to yeah. for that. Use our podcast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like while you're working? You yeah, while I'm work? working, I just it's just background noise. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> you cool. Listen to our weird ass conversations and stuff. I do something similar where like I just have the song I'm working on on loop. So <laughs> so like I still get my my brain still remains on. Although I can get distracted like if I think of a new idea for that song. Yeah, of course. What about you, Jake? What are you up to? <laughs> You've been sitting. Jake's been just been sitting there quiet. I think we've been hoarding the mics too long. Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. No, I, 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 I'm also listening to the conversation. It's pretty good. Uh, what, what, like what's up to what? Oh wait, uh, got any got any plans? Out uh, break or like any of you like upcoming stuff for this coming few months or Christmas? Oh Christmas! Uh, Jackie's coming. Yeah, Jackie's coming. Yeah, back, uh, Christmas. Uh, kind of looking some for time for Smash Ultimate. Let's I know. Yeah. We do not know if she's gonna have a Switch by then. Oh wait, no, she probably doesn't because she's busy with school. 
Yeah. Literally. In case you forgot, um, in our last podcast, we talked about um, our dear friend Jackie, who just moved to Canada and she is going on to a better and is going she's, to yep, she's going through her first year of college over there, and she'll be making a visit come this Christmas season. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Her birthday's done. All right. But yeah, Merry uh, Christmas. definitely looking forward to that. All right. Hang on. I will check the time. It's a uh, 10.50. Oh, oh, oh. That's around as long as our first one. Our first one was an hour. The first part was an hour. Welcome and now we did 50 day. minutes. That's tight. That's an extra 30 minutes. All right. All r- I think we can end it on a, on a good note. It's time for the plugs. Who wants to plug? <laughs> It's time. What are we plugging? Um, OnlineSequencer.net slash waffles. Yeah. OnlineSequencer.net slash waffles. <laughs> it's not even the, it's not even it's the, not. the link, dude. It's, it's a number. It's okay, we'll drop. I, I, I fucking forgot. I we'll think it, I link. think there's a way where you can... Is there a way where you can, they can like type your name or something? Expect. Things the, I don't know, man. <laughs> expect heat. Like, bring bring electric fans. Be in a very uh, cool environment. While listening to this, because we it's never fire, know, you never know what'll happen. Like, like your condo might blow up, circuits might break, circuits like might print. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn! I was about to make a very dirty joke, but I didn't want to continue. Yeah, it. this is a friendly check circuit. This is a friendly channel, but apparently we curse. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm Fuck. sorry. <laughs> Yeah, we, we've Did cursed it, already. Was too. I the only one who started cursing? No, nah, I, I cursed too. Oh, okay. okay. You cursed too. Yeah. Fine. All right. Oh, thank God. All right. So it is getting pretty late. It's almost 11 p.m. right now. Damn. So I think we... I think we got to... Well, if no one has anything else to say, um, thank you so much, guys, for listening to part two and part one, if you have. Um, we will be back, hopefully. No, no, no. Scratch that. The next podcast probably won't come for a long time, but no. yeah, maybe a Christmas season. But um, rest assured that this channel will be uploading a couple vlogs yeah. or a couple more stuff for content. Yeah, definitely. So stay tuned for those. Got you. And um, got you, bro. <laughs> got you, boy. <laughs> Stop it. Also, uh, we're going to be filming a Halloween vlog tomorrow. Oh yeah. And we're gonna have we're gonna be uploading the Halloween vlog oh, from yeah. Ali's party. Yep. In a, in a so a lot day. of a lot of stuff to look forward to. So please, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe and like, and subscribe. <laughs> hit the bell for notifications. Like. <laughs> and follow online sequencer dot net slash waffles. And we'll drop the link. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drop the link. <laughs> and with that being said, thank you so much, guys. We'll see you soon. And shout out to Newport. Bye, guys. Woo! Bye-bye. Bye-bye.